well as Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu's many other lingering identity question marks have further worsened Nigerian less than glorious image internationally. Uninformed outsiders now see every Nigerian as a froster, certificate forger, or identity thief. The controversy is unnecessary, just as the implicit global embarrassment could have been avoided. In my opinion, Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu should have saved the nation and himself this protracted embarrassment and undo sight. Even in this late in the day, however, Chief Ahmed Bola Tinibu still owes the nation and the world a simple debt of obligation only he can discharge. I therefore respectfully and humbly call on him to immediately and personally mount the restroom of his present high office to perform a simple task once and for all time. He should reintroduce himself to the nation he governs and to the world for avoidance of further doubt. He should let the world know his name, his nationality, his place of birth, his parentage, the primary and secondary school he attended with dates as well as the actual universities he attended and certificates obtained. It should indicate clearly where and when he did his national youth service. In addition, if at any time he had had a change of name, it should state so clearly and circumstance that is never in self is no crime. This is a simple task that will take only a few minutes. It requires no affidavit, prolonged court process, spokesperson, agents or surrogates. The task is one that only Chief Bola Tinibu himself, through a direct personal statement, can perform. He must perform this task urgently in order to lay to rest was, and for the last time, the many lingering doubts and valid speculation about his true identity. A leader cannot assess a clear, unambiguous personal statement about his identity to political surrogates, official spokespeople, lawyers, or any other person, no matter how highly placed. A matter of personal identity of a leader is too sensitive and central to the function of the office he currently occupies to be trifled with, outsourced, or disguised under the cloak of official. It is a, about integrity, morality, values, and the rule of law that defines the character of a nation and its people. In his present capacity as a leader of a nation of over 200 million Nigerians, his true identity is a matter of grave national and international interest. The people deserve to know with certainty the true identity of their leader, and this overrides whatever rights he may have to personal privacy. In addition, to the, inter in addition the international community deserves to know the true identity of the person with whom they will engage on Nigeria. Having stood for an election of elevated office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, Excellency. His Excellency will entertain five questions. Please. Please. They could be extinct in the next few years from loss of habitat and prey and snares set for illegal bushmeat. So please say no to illegal bushmeat. Let's keep the raw alive for Nigeria because poaching steals from us all. Thank you.
on the issue of whether on the invitation of the DDP presidential candidate, let me retreat again. Whenever there's an issue of national interest, I'm involved in it, invited or uninvited, because it's about our country. Thank you, sir. No. All right, Excellency, my name is Friday, and uh, I'm a reporter with Chinese TV. I would like to ask you just one question, since my senior colleague has taken that. I would delete every app on my phone from this. the call from the PDP presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. My second question is asking uh, has to do with uh, uh, what the PDP candidate has in his hand. I have not seen it, so that's why I mentioned, and I'm uh, using my words carefully. The certificates that he said, he said uh, his lawyer has been able to, to get that has uh, generated this conversation. Or of what use is it to your own case? Because we would like to know if you also pleaded uh, among the prayer in the court is included the, the certificate forgery that the presidential candidate of the PDP is portraying. So of what use is what they have now? Of what use it is uh, in your fight to secure a mandate? I don't make comments on issues that are before the court. Everybody knows that. However, where we are is, no, is beyond the court. We are, what we are talking about today is actually a challenge and a crisis to the soul of our nation, to our existence. Yeah. People who are asking these questions that you have to answer everywhere, it's not this. And we are, this is not a political matter. I want people to understand. It is no longer politics. I've said it over and over again. It is not about whether people went to school or didn't go to school. We have leaders all over the world. I mentioned several. They did not go to, did not have formal education. The most quoted American president didn't go through formal education. And he's highly respected. Lincoln. And in the UK, it wasn't in school. And I can go on and on. People who have rich background, PhD is in zoology, is not for presidents. Where are the people now? We want them to come out now. So we're not, we're, that's why I say respectfully, I'm pleading that this issue be attended to. Thank you, Ramin. Your Excellency, good morning. Yeah, Abaya Makiwala is my name. I report for Wazobi at Nigeria Info. You just gave us your rich CV now. Did you submit these certificates to your INEC? If no, why? Are you scared of anything? That is one. Secondly, this issue of certificate saga, I think it should have all this, um, everything like this should have been done before the election itself. Don't you think it's high time we look into our electoral process and Atiku is having his own, we're talking about Tinubu now and others. So don't you think our electoral process needs to be looked into before election or the issue have been set to? Thank you. Thank you very much. About submission, I will say it again. If you look at what I submitted to INEC, I submitted up to my university degree, including my youth service, and I attached the other one. The other, quite frankly, the only thing that you require is primary and secondary school. But I attached up to university. Like I said, I went to the University of Nigeria, Suka. It's all very far. In fact, if you go there today, the present VC, which is the first VC that is an, alum an alumnus of the university, the two DVCs are all my mates. We came in together, left together. And I can say to you, so many people, and I came to the university together and left together. Soludo, I can call all of them. And if you went to Suga the time I was there, and one of the very few students everybody knows. And I say it without anything. So you can go and verify that one. If you pass through Christ the King College, you will know me. And my final years. I was at least the deputy school discipline prefect. 
I am sure people know me. <laughs> so it's not a problem. It is sure what you said. The second question. It is fundamental. That is part of building the institution. But it has to start by having leaders who are credible. Yes. Everything starts with the credibility of the leader. The character, the behavior. These are critical issues. That's why I say this goes to the soul of our nation. It is not politics. It is an appeal. Thank you, Excellency. Last, last question. Are we asking the next briefing? Not this one. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's one. Okay, uh, sorry. Excellency, uh, my name is Oge. I report for AIT. What I need to add to the question that uh, my colleague asked is what are they, do you want the president to announce to the world about his uh, name? <laughs> a lot of uh, statements have been made by the presidency before the, uh, the press. Thank you. What are those people? It's not the president. I said it should not be, remember what I said? It should not be a source. Mm. Should be him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you about investigating these credentials until now. And the second question is, Section 29, Subsection 5 of the Electoral Act states clearly how uh, issues of the election matters should be challenged in court and the parties that should challenge this issue. Why are you raising these issues now? I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not in court now. I said I don't get involved with the issue of court. And let me say it again. This is a critical issue. It does not matter when the issue came up. It still remains the same thing. Ben Johnson ran a great race and is a respected athlete. But on that one last race, he's already got in the gold and went home when they discovered that his tested person is duped. They didn't say, oh, you have known that before Ben Johnson ran the race. But they do the test before he went to test. So it doesn't matter when. There's no particular time to do what is right. This is time to do what is right. And we must. We have a nation. We have children. A young girl who said he was the best in her son. They didn't dictate him before he said it. Well, when he said it, the people started investigating. And when they found out, Nigeria, what did you tell that young girl? To so say to him, to her, he wasn't dictated before he came out. No. This is an issue that is of great concern to the soul of our nation. Thank you. 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 Thank you.